Yo, what's up? It's Alex, and this is where I'm gonna show you guys how I flip starters to make fire collab loops. First, I'm gonna play what Scoo sent me. So this is actually a really far starter, really unique actually. So first thing I did, I took this part right here and I pitched it up and added these effects, this portal preset. And this which is one of my favorites from Saturn Gates' bank. Shout out Saturn. This is kind of more of a delaying chorus and the other one's a different effect. And then I got this. So that's one thing I like doing a lot is having these starters and then taking some bits and pitching it up an octave or stretching them and doing types of like that. And then I got this sound and played this pattern. And then I read it out, which gave me this. And then I pitched it down one octave and then stretched it halfway like this, and then it gave me this. I put a portal on that, it's called textures. And yeah, another cool way of flipping a sound this time, I stretch it so that's in double time, and I dropped it down an octave. And then I have this sound, and I laid this out. I just have reveals on this, it was really nice to make things vintage. I'll show you the difference. And then I rendered it and I stretched it like this and then I pitched up an octave. It then gave me this. This I just have an EQ cutting harsh frequencies, especially when you pitch things up an octave, the highs get really messy. And then another reels, I always use the default preset. And then I found this cool sound and I normalized it. I played it really low and it gave me this cool bass kind of pattern. I really like the sweeping texture it has behind it. Yeah, that's really all it is, I'll play it again. This next loop I did it with Luisi, shout out Luisi. And this was a starter. Once again, I took this part and pitched it up. And then based off this, I knew I wanted to add some guitar. So I added all of this. First of all, I'll show you guys the effects. There's a simple reels, and then a compressor. It compresses it really nicely and adds some nice lo-fi. And then apart from that, there's just imaging and EQ. First, I played these chords. And then you can notice how all these top lines stack up and play a nice little rhythm. And then to counter this rhythm, I took all of this and I rendered it and then I double timed it and pitched it up an octave to give me this.
For this, I put the Marauder preset on my portal bank, and of course I pitch it up an octave. It's kind of different than pitching it over here. And then I add a cool top line that kind of harmonizes eventually. So yeah, that's really it. It's pretty simple when you know how to be unique when flipping starters and adding just a few things that kind of accentuates the starter and not making it really like some default shit. Especially when I'm receiving laps back, if the starter is kind of the standout thing, that kind of shows that you didn't put much work. But then here, I didn't put much work, but the guitar stands out. So there's just differences like that that sets you apart from other loop makers. Of course, I'm not a pro, so I may not be giving the best advice, but yeah, that's just my view on things. I'll play the loop again. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys took something in from this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.